Perseverance is on a mission to explore a geologically diverse location on Mars and collect samples for return to Earth. It's successfully collected 30 of a possible 38 samples, but sometimes it seems like Mars rejects these efforts. On this episode of Mars Guy, Perseverance has spent more than two months exploring a small spot on the outer rim of Jezero Crater with rocks that probably were dredged up and thrown out by the impact event. Here's Mars Guy for scale. After topping out in this location, Perseverance drove back down about 50 meters to a spot it had departed from eight sols prior. This is where it had spent two weeks investigating the interesting rocks here, including abrading a ragged circular patch with its specialized drill bit to get a better look inside. The slabby outcrops in this location are rocks made of rocks. You can see a range of rounded to angular pieces of rock known as clasts set in a matrix of finer grain material, very much like gravel aggregate in concrete. But these outcrops are much weaker than concrete, as shown in this close-up view with the Watson camera. The rotary percussive action of the drill has heavily fractured the rock. The close-up images also nicely show the range of colors and textures of the clasts. Some of them look like they have their own clasts, so even tinier rocks within rocks. Others look more like igneous rocks with light-toned crystals inside. The most rounded clasts indicate that they were tumbled at some point, probably by flowing water, before they were incorporated into the matrix. So there's a lot of geologic stories contained in this one rock. You may have noticed this very oddly shaped clast. So did the team. They deployed the Sherlock instrument with its Raman and UV spectrometers and the highest resolution camera on the rover, here shown with its two sets of LED lights alternating to provide different lighting angles. It's not at all clear what this object is, but results from the spectrometers will provide clues. I'll go out on a limb, though, and say it's likely not a Martian. Still, there was enough interest in these rocks that Perseverance was sent back to collect a core sample next to the abrasion patch. The 27-minute coring operation appeared to execute without any problems, although fractures clearly opened up and spilled loose sediment into voids underneath. You can also make out a brightening in this area. Because it's limited to just this spot, it's probably an indication of a slight breeze blowing the drill tailings here rather than them just being flung out. Following extraction of the coring bit with its internal sample tube, the protocol is to show it to the MassCam Z camera for inspection. The look inside was not encouraging. It appears to show the gold-colored titanium nitride coating at the bottom of an empty sample tube. This was clearly confirmed once the tube was extracted from the drill bit and raised up to the onboard camera called Cash Cam in the belly of the rover. There's no sample to be seen, only some tiny grains of rock or maybe sand that clung to the tube after it was pulled from the outcrop. The sample probably was just too crumbly to preserve any chunks big enough to stay in the tube. This has happened only a few times over the past four plus years and 30 successful sampling attempts, but now Mars has seemingly rejected this latest attempt. So unfortunately, Perseverance has had to leave behind a scientifically compelling sample. 